And welcome. Glad to have you along for this Tuesday edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Brian Anderson here. With me tonight are analysts Richard Jefferson and Grant Hill and our reporter Ali LaForce. And a chance to see the latest edition of the Power Rankings. Always fun to see one in the league stands. They slipped a bit. Still in well, seeing where this home team is right now, they're off to a really solid start, pushing aside those that doubted them in the preseason and proving they're capable of more. Now the starting group for the visitors. Well, Grant, we're still early on in the season here, but do you feel like you've got a good sense of these teams yet? Absolutely no. I mean, it's too early right now to tell. Now, some teams are still kind of coming into their own, so I think we need a few more games before we get a real sense of who the contenders are this year. Pass to Parks. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Personal foul, first team foul. At the line for two. Parks. That free throw, no good. And the second free throw is good. Fires from 14. Here's Cox. Pass to Monroe. Fires from 14. And down it goes. Two points. And hitting from the mid-range here and early. I mean, really give the defense just another thing to worry about. And you don't see many teams take these shots as often anymore. It's nice to see them take advantage in this area. Brooks outside. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. You want to run your offense through him. A reliable scoring option. Quarter just over a minute play. Cox the pass to McMillan. Fades back. The shot comes out. Puts it up from 12. He squares up and sinks it. That was not an easy move. I mean, especially against that length. Okay, look, that move right there is a product of repetition. He's worked on that, and it pays off over that little larger defender. Here's Cox. To the wing, right side. From outside the arc, McLeod gets the bucket. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. First quarter, just about two minutes in. Going for the lob. How'd they pull that off, B.A.? Right? I'm not sure. A tremendous play. Here's Cox. Pass to Monroe. Here's McLeod. The three. And Walton pulls it down. Now here's Brooks. Takes a three. Baddest one with the bucket. Out. Out to points. a hot start. Four makes and five shots to begin this ball game. Here's Cox. Pass to Monroe. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. McLeod gets the bucket. It's turned into a showdown here. Dueling from distance. Take that, he says. I see your three, and I'll raise you another three. 
Here's Walton. They set the pick. Brooks, right side. Oh, the teardrop falls in. Brooks has got his second basket of the night. The floater can be a tricky shot, but that's the right choice. So it's the home team now, trailing by two. What about their offense? It was a well-oiled machine, getting them high-quality looks time and time again. The coaching staff has been happy with how well they've executed the game plan. They operated as a cohesive unit. And we're just over three and a half minutes into this first quarter. Inside. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. These teams have really gone back and forth. <laughs> yeah, five lead changes already. This one's going to be a battle for sure. Pass to Parks. Here's Monroe. To the paint. A shot from the mid-range. Here's Parks. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Parks got six points. A quality pass, setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. The visitors with the ball. And this squad bumped them out of the playoffs in the first round last year. <laughs> that hurts a little bit. To the inside. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Almost converts despite the contact. At the line for Oakland. Brooks. Two shots. The free throw dropped for Brooks. on both. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay for the line. For California, they've got five of seven shots to fall. Cox, the pass to B-Trade. Fades. And Walton pulls it down. Ooh, might rush that one a little bit. Pretty clean look inside. Pass to Brooks. Shot clock at six. On the money from 12 feet away. Give him eight. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. Cox, the pass to McLeod. Here's Parks. Down low. Pass to Cox. To the middle. Here's McMillan. And that was good. I know it's early, but you have to wonder if these offenses can keep this up. There will be some letdown at some point, but these teams, they are built to score, so. For Oakland, they've got seven of eight in the basket. Here's Childress. Six on the shot clock. Beyond the arc. Park pulls it in. For California, they've gone six of nine and finding their rhythm now. McLeod counted from distance. McLeod's got nine. Trading the lead back and forth. Neither side is willing to back down. I've been on the edge of my seat courtside. Man, this has been a barn burner. A minute 53 left to play in the first. Time out, time out. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. Both teams will make substitutions. With a break here, let's see which teams racked up the assist during last year's campaign. During last season, both of these teams were just unselfish, piling up the assist. There's a minute 47 left now in the first quarter. 
Pass to Walton. From behind the arc. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. One team gains momentum, then the other storms back. Hey, if this is any indication of how the game is going to go, we're in for a treat. Here's Lyles. Here's Cage. The 11-footer. Here's Snow. And they're going to count that bucket, and they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. How about the level of activity this dude just brings to the glass? Just refusing to give up on plays, and his teammates, trust me, they appreciate the effort. The visitors with the ball. Trailing by two. Defensively, they weren't up to the task. Didn't play as a cohesive unit, and it really hurt them. Boy, they looked like they were asleep on that end of the floor. No one was talking. No one was paying attention. Yeah, it was rough. For California, they've got eight out of 12 shots to fall. Pass to Wallace. And he floats it in for the easy two. Credit the sweet setup on that one. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Here's Wesley. 55 seconds left in the first quarter. Here's the floater. That shot is off. Here's Parks. Here's Cage. Still without a bucket. Here's the pick. Pass to Parks. Clock at six. Off target with the three. Given his range, you'd expect him to capitalize on that open. Three seconds separating the shot and game clock. He finds a shooter in motion and is confident he can thread him with the lead pass. Well done. Here's Cage. Puts up a three. No luck on that one. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. Up two. And back to the start of the second quarter in just a moment. We hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And from what we've seen here from the home team, what's your take so far? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. Their points came almost exclusively from beyond the arc, and as this game continues, that should open up the floor for the rest of their offense. Here's Oakley. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Last season, the most 30 and 40 point scoring games in league history. What's driven that scoring explosion, Richard? Well, a lack of defense first, B.A., but teams are crutching the numbers. They've cracked the code. Put the ball in the hands of your star player and surround them with shooters. There's not a lot of defense that has been created to offset that. And so he makes both from the line. Now, he's perfectly comfortable doing work at the line. And California shooting the ball at 60%, an excellent average. Here's Lyles. To the inside. Here's Snow. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. First team foul. The line for California. Here's Oakley. Out to the wing. Here's Walton. Using his post moves to get the two points. Walton's got five. Coach is loving the ball movement. Here's Lyles. Starting the second quarter, about a minute gone. Who poked away. 
Here's Oakley. The shot goes down. Very quick possession right there. Oakley's got four points this quarter. Oh, man, this has been an absolute battle in the first half. Each team trying to establish itself. The lead just keeps going back and forth. Here's Cage. He's scoreless. Down low. Here's Snow. Perfect pass to set up the lay-in. And force-feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. The visitors with the ball. They trail by one. It's the second game of three on the road. Brooks outside. Pass to Oakley. On the take. Tipped. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Here's Cage. Lays it up and banks it in. Cage has got his first two points of the night. Got to fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You got to show some fire and keep defending. For Oakland, they've got two of three shots to go in the second. Here's Walton. Five points in the game. All right, for those just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second. Here's Wallace. Knocks down the triple. Wallace has got his second bucket on the night. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. So both teams changing it up here. That was your Breakers dance crew. Make some noise, fans. Here's Childress. Pass to Brooks. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. To halt the run. First shot won't go. You gotta move past that one. I mean, they'd want him to take that again. Yeah, it's a great look for him. One they'll try and manufacture again. Those are the shots you want him to take. And adding to this lead right now. Riding a wave of momentum. Yeah, they've locked in during this stretch. If they keep it up, their lead will only continue to grow. Here's Oakley. Brooks outside. Pass to Childress. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Here's Snow. Brooks defending. Snow, the pass to McLeod. Here's Cox. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at six. Here's Cage. Hits a three-pointer. Cage has got five points. And just shredding apart the defense with his passing. He's helping to pace this offense so well. He's locked in with his teammates right now, setting guys up in perfect position. Here's Oakley. Pass to Childress. And here's Brooks. Goes up from the block. The shot's good. He's got ten. Rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. For California, they've gotten each of their six shots to fall here in the second. Here's Snow. Here's Cox. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Here's Oakley. Sinks that one from the post. Oakley's got six here in the quarter. That scoreless first quarter, that might have woke him up, and he's turned it on here in the second. Here's Cox. Yet to see a basket. Pass to McLeod for three. Knocks down the long K. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. For Oakland, they've gotten five of seven shots to fall in the second. Here's Oakley. Six points for him. Now Brooks. Rolls 
rolls around and rims out. Well, the defense didn't have any impact on that shot, but somehow he still misses it. Here's Cox. Pass to McLeod. Here's McMillan. Over to the wing. Here's Cage. Up and over Brooks. And Cage gets it to go. Cage has got seven points in the game. And after struggling out the gate, he's looked more confident. And it's why his teammates have continued to feed him. Oakley, the pass to Brooks. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Pass to Childress. With his first shot attempt. And yep, it's good. For California, they've gone eight for nine here in the second. Timeout, timeout. California calls timeout. Guarded. Here we go. Both teams deciding to change it up. All right, now that we have a break, let's take a look at which teams capitalized from the line last season. They didn't give away any points at the free throw line, and that makes a head coach's life so much easier. On defense, the visiting team. Eight-point game. He's all alone. Throw it down on the breakaway jam. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. <laughs> Once he poked it away, you knew what was on his mind. Here's Cox. No points yet. Pass to Parks. To the paint. Shoots a fadeaway. And it's McMillan missing. For Oakland, they've gone 7 for 11 in the second quarter. 103 left in the first half. There's a screen. Connects on the foul line jumper. He's got six. Not all his mid-range jumpers are created equal. That's one they'll take all night long. Here's Cox. Pass to Monroe. Battle in traffic and lays it in. Monroe's got his second bucket of the night. Brooks with it. Shot clock at five. And there's the turnover. Pass goes out of bounds. That pass wandered off target. Can't lose focus on the little bitty things. Nineteen seconds left in the second. Here's McLeod. He's got 14. That's tipped. Four seconds left. And a strong finish with two hands. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. That's the last thing we need to happen down the stretch. Let's see how they respond to the devastating punch. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Leading by four. Stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. Thanks for tuning in. Did you miss us? Before we discuss the game at hand, let's first check out the upcoming schedule. You know, right now for Oakland, we talk about standings and such, but right now, it's the GYGP. 
I know neither of you knows what that means, so nope. I'll help you. It means galvanizing your game plan. Wow. Pretty good. Man, it's hard to imagine a hotter team from downtown. Better turn on that AC because those guys are cooking. Now, that could flip on them in a hurry, but I wouldn't put my money on it. Some outstanding shooters in that lineup. Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct, I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. We've got second half action for you. And if the next couple of quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. The visitors with the ball, trailing by four. Pass to Brooks. The shot no good. And California shooting 67% for the game. Just outstanding. McLeod gets the bucket. McLeod's got 16 points now. <laughs> A great move. I mean, the defense has no response. Yeah, taking it right to the rim. One imagines that might be discussed at halftime. That's going to be on the film. And Oakland's shooting has been spectacular. 67%. Just incredible. Brooks with it. Monroe grabs the miss. Here's Parks. Pass to Monroe. Six on the shot clock. Here's McMillan. Here's Monroe. Basket's good. Six points for him. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Good from about 19 feet. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. There's a screen. Here's McLeod. Buries it from three. McLeod's got five points now this quarter. Something lit a fire under them at the half. They started this quarter going three for three from the floor. Goes up from the top of the key, and McMillan pulls it down. McMillan's got his fourth rebound in this one. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Here's Parks. Second chance effort. And it's McMillan missing. For Oakland, they've gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Pass to Childress. Inside. Here's Brooks. Ooh, good finish at the rack off the slick feed. Brooks has got 12 points in the game. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. When it ain't broke, leave it alone. Until someone stops him, just let him roll. These are exactly the kind of shots they want to generate each and every time down the floor. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. Yeah, coach no doubt wants to use this timeout to review the matchups and maybe make some adjustments as well. I'm sure all of the above is in order and you can never be too content. Visitors with the ball. Nine-point game. Pass to Battis one. Four on the clock. Childress. From outside, off the mark. Oh, love the intensity in which they're hitting the boards. Here's Cox. No made baskets yet. Here's McMillan. Hey, from beyond the arc. Pure from three-point range. 
A little under three and a half minutes off the clock now in the third quarter. Pass to Childress. Down low. Here's McLeod. On target from range. McLeod's got eight points here in the quarter. They're making it look easy out there, just having fun. Man, their offense is clicking. Players, coaches, everybody, they are in sync. Now here's Brooks. That's basket number six in eight tries. They've struggled, but hey, you cannot lay it at his feet. Offensively, he's getting it done. For California, they've gotten six of eight shots to go and looking good since the break. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. When high-level prospects like Victor Wembanyama enter the draft, some teams' motivation to win can falter. And Commissioner Adam Silver said, quote, it's a serious issue, and we've put teams on notice. Brian, it sparked hundreds of league meetings, and Silver added, we're always looking to see whether there's yet a better system. Back to you. Oh, indeed. Thanks, Ali. And even though he hasn't been himself, it hasn't affected his team too much. They've still got the lead. Count it. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. He's going to keep putting up shots regardless of the score. That's the kind of player he is. Wesley, he's checked in for Brooks. This is why you want ball movement and player movement. And that's made it hard for the defense to key in on any one individual. Here's McLeod. 22 points for him. Pass to Parks. Here's McLeod. Six to shoot. Cox the pass to McLeod. Trains the triple. McLeod's got 11 in the second half. Man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. For Oakland, they've gone four of eight in the third. Here's Wesley. Four, three. Sinks the tray. Fletcher. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. So it's the home team now. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. That'll be the first leg of just a two-game trip for them. From the high post, buries the jump shot. Parks got eight. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. And you look at two-way players who split time between the NBA and G League. They've become important in roster construction, RJ. It is, but I think also that the NBA has to make sure that these guys are taken care of because they're less expensive, so they end up having to do this bouncing back and forth. And you can have three guys shuffling back and forth. It's given a lot of young players an opportunity to prove themselves, but I still think that the teams need to make sure that they're taken care of. Here's Childress. Clock at six. Let's the three fly. He drops it from range. He's got nine. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. 156 left in the third. Pass to Snow. Here's Cox. Wallace, the pass to Snow. California foul. McLeod. First personal foul. First team foul. Substitution for Oakland. Sankovic. For Oakland, they've got six of ten shots to fall in this third quarter. 136 left to play in the third quarter. And he trims the lead to single digits. Rate of baskets assisted, it's a stat I really like. It tells the story of how well you are playing team offense. Here's Cox. No point so far. And Walton pulls it down. Walton's got four rebounds now. Here's Wesley. A minute four left in the third quarter of the game. And the basket is good. For California, they've gone 8 of 12 from the floor in the third quarter. Cox the pass to B-Train. 
sends it home from three-point land. Hart's got five points now this quarter. Look, they are in front right now because of him. He keeps draining these shots at a ridiculous clip. And Oakland's shooting at a fantastic 68% from the floor. There's 42 seconds left in the third. And the bucket is good. Reese. And California shooting the ball with purpose. They're 68% from the field. The ball goes to Oakland. Brooks, he's checked in for Wesley. Pass to Walton. To the paint. Here's Brooks. Goes back up. Snow grabs the board. Snow's got his fourth rebound in this one. Cox the pass to Cage. To the inside. Uses the glass to finish the layup. McMillan's got seven points. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Here's Brooks. That one falls. He's got 18. He is getting everything he wants. That's the defense is seemingly powerless to slow him down. And so it's California closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. All right, stick around. We'll be right back after this. we take a look at our State Farm assist to the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. You've got to admire the vision just as much as the accuracy. Not many players can even spot that pass. It's the fourth quarter. Crowd. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth quarter. Here's Cage. McMillan. Here's Wallace. Shot clock at six. Here's Snow. Brooks defending. That one goes. Count it. Terrific design and execution leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Snow has gone four for four shooting tonight. on target from the wing. They're going at it on offense. Neither team backing down. Man, this has been a fun one, but look, who doesn't love a high-scoring game? Here's Cage. Spins. Up and in on the layup. And despite the height disadvantage, oh my, he just attacks that interior. Really unfazed. Throw his height Oakland right out the window there. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey guys, I had a chance to find out what Taylor yeah, Jenkins was discussing with his players. He told his players, we are right there, guys. This game is ours. Continue to work hard and we will win this game. Thank you for that, Allie. Drills it from deep. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. About a minute and a half into the fourth now. And he banks in the layup. They have no answer defensively inside. Here's Oakley. Pass to Walton. Just five on the clock. Here's Oakley. Three-pointer off the mark. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebound. To the middle. And he throws it down with one hand. Woo! D 
Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. This is how you force a defense to collapse. Kick the ball right inside. Fourth quarter of play. We're about two and a half minutes through it now. Here's Cage. Let's it go from 11. Not going to go that time. For Oakland, they've gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Walton passes to Oakley. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Eh, good whistle there. First team foul. Shooting for Oakley. Oakley at the line for two. The first free throw is good. So it's both teams making substitutions here. both from the stripe here's Cox and we're about three minutes into the fourth now pass to McLeod here's Monroe down to five on the shot clock McMillan Monroe the second chance points on the tip in Great effort to turn the miss into two points. Yes, sir. Those are the hustle points. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. A nice shot by Oakley. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Cox, good. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Pass to Oakley. Here's Battist one. Let's it go from deep. Crops in the three. Their defense has to do a better job of smothering those shooters. Here's Cox. The three ball. And his fifth basket. Now five for eight. Looking comfortable out there. This is his second three this half. He's getting even more bold at that arc. Down low. And he throws it down. What a terrific lead pass. Ooh, bouncy. That should give him a nice lift. Good timing. They needed that one. And they need more where that came from. They're not out of this hole yet. Party. Parks. Pass to Cox. Here's Monroe. To the paint. Got a piece of it. The layup off target. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. California foul ball. A.J. Cox, second personal foul, second team foul. To the inside, here's Brooks. Score it. 13 shots, 9 makes. Solid. Yeah, these teams are playing with incredible energy. Yeah, the second half 
in stark contrast with the first. Coach must have gotten on them a little bit at halftime. Here's Cox. Pass to McMillan. Here's Park. Open foul. Fletcher. Second personal foul. First team foul. So it's the home team now. Here's Cox. That three's off the mark. For Oakland, they've gone seven of eight in this fourth quarter. Inside. California foul. McMillan. Second personal foul. Third team foul. The home team on D. They lead by four. Pass to Brooks. Six on the shot clock. AJ Cox. Third personal foul. Fourth team foul. One forty-nine left in the fourth quarter here. The basket counts and one. He'll go to the line, a chance at a three-point play. Instead of risking something on the perimeter, he just works it inside. Reading the defense, it's in the open. He does not hesitate. Here's Parks. Here's Childress. To tie it up. And McMillan pulls it down. McMillan's got seven rebounds in the game. A minute 20 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Parks. Another possession, another assist. Oh, that makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Pass to Brooks. Shot on the wing. And right on target. Brooks has got 24 points. The ideal pass for that situation. Great instincts. A minute four left in the game. They set a pick. To the wing on the left. Here's Parks. Here's Monroe. And it's in. Nice ball movement there. Delivered the pass right on time. Forty-six seconds left in the fourth. Pass to Brooks. The fader. Mark pulls it in. And so they choose to intentionally foul. First personal foul. Second team foul. This is their chance to stretch the lead, Graham. Yeah, it's a must. They have to execute and avoid the big mistake. At the line for California, McLeod. Two shots. Good on the first, and that increases the lead to six. And he hits both free throws here, and it's a seven-point game. He knows how important it is converting at the line and building up this lead. On the wing, Brooks. He connects! And that cuts the lead to just five. Breakdown for the defenders, and you can't ask for an easier bucket than that. Twenty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter, and an intentional foul right there. Fourteen foul. At the line for California, McLeod. Ooh, he doesn't hit the first. That was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. And he 
does get the second one. And that increases the lead to six. All right, guys, what's your take? The game's not quite done yet, but they need points right away. We've seen teams come back from this before. Smart to take the timeout and get everybody focused on exactly what needs to be done. Oh, it's stolen. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Second personal foul. Fifth team foul. At the line for two. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now for the second. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that makes it a seven-point lead. And just not enough time for them to get back in this game. Yeah, they got to be disappointed with this result. Here's Childress. Off target from outside. Here's Cox. And so they get the victory here at home. Boy, a hard-fought game. They did a great job of holding on to the lead at the end. You get the coffee, because that's the way to close. You're going to face some obstacles in the game. They overcame every one. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in as we the New Balance Player of the Game.